Hi everyone, my name is Rajasheka. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be seeing techniques of recording a CAMSAS signal in Unreal Engine using Take Recorder. We have seen both level sequencer and CAMSAS method of simulating DMX lights before in this channel. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages. Before we go any further, people who are new to DMX lighting, Unreal Engine and CAMSAS, check the card which I'm going to put on the screen right now. Watch that video and get back here for you to understand this video easily. Let's quickly see the difference between Level Sequencer versus CAMSYS programming. Uh, level Sequencer has the advantage of animating DMX lights for a short music which requires static movement of lights. You will still be able to accomplish uh, light movements in Level Sequencer as well. It's that it's completely a manual process. Each and every attribute of DMX light has to be keyed in manually and it's a time consuming process and it becomes more complex when you have a lot of lights. Whereas CAMSYS allows you to efficiently program lights and build cues it also has inbuilt presets. Now the next question is, why do we record a CAMSYS signal? Imagine you have a lengthy music for which you want to program lights. In this scenario, we would require to split the song into many portions and plan light programming sequences. Until you record a DMX signal as keys within Unreal Engine, it will not be easy for you to manage them, rearrange the lights and render them out as a sequence. If you want to follow along the video, you need my Unreal Engine project and CAMSYS show file, which I've shared earlier. I'm putting a card on the screen now. Check that video, download the file and continue watching this video from this point. The recommended Unreal Engine version is 4.27 and above. For this video, I'm using Unreal Engine's latest version 5. If you have trouble connecting CAMSYS and Unreal Engine, there is a separate video for it. Check the card which I'm going to put on the screen right now and use it to troubleshoot similar issues. Load the Unreal Engine map which I've shared you. At the same time, load the CAMSYS show file as well. Import a WAV format of any music of your choice into Unreal Engine. Let's fire up the Take Recorder by going to Windows, Cinematics and then Take Recorder. A sequencer window opens up. This can be closed. Let's head to Take Recorder tab. Click on Source and then choose DMX Library. Select Null DMX Library. There is a pull down menu next to DMX library. Choose your DMX library. In my case, it's RTS LIB. Click add all fixture patches. What take record is going to do here is, is going to record all incoming signal on these fixtures. If you have a lot of fixtures, this process could take a while the moment you click on it. You also have an option to select specific fixtures too. Next step is very important. Go all the way down and under user settings, uncheck the option auto lock. If you forget to uncheck this option, then you will not be able to edit the recorded keys. Hit play button in Unreal Engine. Hit the record button in take recorder. You would notice sequencer window popping up again. Close that out. A time code will run in the bottom right. You can use that as a visual reference to record light cues as required. When triggering lights from CAMSYS playback, slowly fade in and fade out. Continue triggering different sequence of light cues which have pre-built in CAMSYS. Point to note, you will not have a strobe animate key in your file. This happens to be something which I created a while ago. Once you are done playing all the sequence, hit the stop on take recorder. A new take sequence is recorded in the following path. You'll have to go to contents, cinematics and then takes folder. Open that now and you'll be able to see all the keys of lights which we simulated in CAMSYS. Take recorder has captured all the cues in the order we triggered. Now, use this to build your queue, import music and match it as needed. You can also add some manual animation within level sequencer and combine with the recorded one and create your own style. You can use a dimmer channel of any light to control its opacity. Say for example you have recorded a sequence for 5 seconds and you only want it for 2 seconds then dimmer uh, channel can come in handy. You can also copy paste the light sequence as required. Now I am going to import a music.
when i seek the audio and play every time it starts from the beginning no matter wherever i uh, seek and play it starts from beginning to fix this close the sequencer press stop go to the path where you have imported the audio in my case it's directly under content folder right click on your audio choose edit and change the sound asset compression type to pcm close the window click the play button now get back to the recorded sequence i am going to build a small sequence from the keys for the music all i'm going to do is rearrange the keys use the dimmer channel to fade a light if required and complete the sequence It's done and now you can render this out as .avi file or a jpeg or png sequence. So this method incredibly saves your time and is more effective. Hope this video was informative. I'll come up with some more tutorials on Unreal Engine. Do share this video to anyone who would be interested to know basics of DMX Unreal Engine and Camps' workflow. Do subscribe to this channel. See you all next time. This is Raj Shekhar signing out. Thank you.